So today we're going to be talking all about bebop licks for bass and I'm going to be teaching you three specific licks. Level one, two and three. Level one is going to be nice and easy. Level two, sprinkle in a bit of a flat nine. Do a little enclosure around the third. Level three, we're going to be throwing in the altered scale. We're going to be throwing in a little bit of a sharp 11 vibe. Now do not worry if you do not know what I'm talking about because by the end of this video you are going to know exactly what those things are and you're going to be able to use them for your bass lines too. Okay, I'm interrupting the video, but just give me a few seconds to give you this important announcement, otherwise you might miss out on it. So I wanted to let you know that I've just opened enrollment for my massively popular Jazz Accelerator program, which is a 15 week online experience where you can study with me directly and go deep into learning jazz, getting this into your bass playing like the great bass players have in the past. If you've never played jazz before, it will be great for you and even if if you have played jazz before or you've just dipped your toe in the water it is going to be absolutely badass for you so we open it once a year and now is that time i've put the link down in the description below check it out and hopefully i'll see you on the inside now with that said here's the lesson okay so all of the licks that i'm going to be playing today this being one of them <laughs> are gonna be over the same chord sequence. The reason I'm doing that is so you can see how I can start altering the lines to add different tensions into my solo lines, okay? And the chord sequence itself is gonna be dead easy. It's gonna be a two, five, one in the key of C major. Now, don't worry if you don't know what that means. All that means is I'm gonna have a D minor chord, okay? That's gonna be the, the first chord of the chord sequence. Put that big low G, low D in there. Okay, move into a G dominant seven. You can also play that here. Move into a C major seven. Okay, sounds like this: D minor, G dominant seven, C major seven, or D minor, G seven, C major seven or D minor seven, G dominant seven, C major seven. <laughs> yeah, or D minor seven to G seven to C major seven. Now with lick number one, I've got no tension notes in there at all. All of the notes that we're using in this lick are from the chord or the chord scale that goes you know, with each of the chords through that progression. So up to speed, it's gonna sound like this. So let's break that down, what's actually going on? Well, first of all, I'm just gonna go up the D minor, arpeggio, and then I resolve down to the third of that G7. When it hits that G7, and then I play the A, the G, the F, and the E. It's really important that you get the fingering right for this, otherwise you're gonna start, you know, tumbling over yourself, so. That's even a cool look in itself. And then finally I play E, G, B, D, C, which is the third, the five, the seven, and the nine, and the root of that C major, okay? So. Remembering to use the fingering that I'm using. speed or you can use that triplet on the start that's the same notes there just they're rhythmically different and make sure they get all the slurs and the hammer-ons where I'm using them you know that slid there and all of that is on the download. Make sure you get that download, it's down below. Now, on to level two. So with this lick, we're gonna add in a little bit of tension to the line. Why do we wanna add in tension? What do I mean by that? Well, really, I mean kind of like wrong notes. And the reason why we wanna do that is to create that tension and release within the line itself, okay? So I'm gonna play up to speed to begin with, and then, just like we did the last time, I'm gonna break it down. But listen out for when I'm using terminology like flat nine and enclosure closure because you will hear them in the future and if you learn this lick it's going to be like oh that's the thing that Scott was talking about let's do it up to speed 
Okay, let's break that down. It actually begins exactly the same way as the level one lick, okay? It just goes up that D minor arpeggio and then resolves down to the third of the, you've got it, that G7. Now, the last level one we went from the third to the nine to the root down that, you know, down the, uh, the G7 there. This time we're gonna play third flat nine, woo! and then resolve to that root note of the G7 there, okay? So it's gonna go. So it's a wrong note, like it's outside the key, but it sounds great because it goes. Like it gives us that, that tension. And then we're gonna do an enclosure around the third of the C major. What the heck does an enclosure mean? Right. We're gonna play one note above the third of the C major, one note below the third of the C major, and then we're gonna hit the third. Okay, it's gonna sound like this, okay? There, right there, okay? So we've got F, E flat, E. There's that E there is the third of the C major, and we're playing one note above it, one note below it, and then hitting it. Okay, so up to that point, the lick's gonna sound like this. And then we're gonna play the five, the root, and then slide down to the major seven of that C major there. So it sounds like this. That note. Let me play it at a slower tempo for you. So up the D minor to the third, flat nine there, and then the enclosure, and then slide down to that, the uh, major seven of the C there. Okay, time for level three. Now heads up, this line's gonna be a little more complex, so strap yourself in, make sure that you've got the download down in the description below, and then you'll be ready for it. Okay, here it is, up to speed. One more time. So what am I doing there? Okay, let me break that down. So it starts off with this really cool lick, which is it slides into the minor third of that D minor. So then hits the five and then so down to that D. What a cool line. And then rises up to the third there of the G7. Let me play that super slowly, okay? With these as well, you can like you can break apart these lines and learn little chunks of them, get those up to speed individually, and then glue them all together, right? And that's what we're kind of doing here, okay? One more time. Next section. What the heck is that? So that's over that G7 sound there. A lot of altered notes in there, okay? So we go. So this is the first note of the next part of the lick, okay? So it's fifth to the sharp five. So you slide it up one note. That's a tension note, okay, of that G7. Okay, then B, B flat, A flat, G, F, E, and it resolves to the that third of the C major seven there, okay. That sounds really cool, right? Of that G seven there. But what I'm doing there is going from the D da, then let me talk about the actual quality of the notes there as well. So five to the sharp five to the third to the sharp nine to the flat nine to the root to the flat seven and then resolves to that C major. Okay. Now when I hit that C major, again we throw in some more spicy stuff, okay. Of that C major. Okay, what the heck am I doing there? Okay, I'm just playing the, the E, which is the third. I then play the fifth of C, the sharp 11, 
the six, and then I play the fifth again, and then I'm going seven, nine, sharp 11, twice on that sharp 11, so. One more time. And then I go back down. Nine, seven, five, and resolve, because why not, on the sharp 11, which is gonna be this sound. Ooh. If you break that down, you can actually see, that's actually a G major seven arpeggio. So you play the C major, that's a C major, and we can play. That G major arpeggio to get that Lydian, called the Lydian vibe, right? So if you play that again, so check it out. We've got, you know, the C major there. We can play a C major seven arpeggio. inside the tonality, we can play a G major seven arpeggio. So we just go to the fifth of the chord and play a major seven based off of that note. That's just a G major seven arpeggio over the C major seven. Super cool, right? So with that, let me now play, I'm gonna do it once through, really nice and slow for you, and then we're gonna play that last lick up to speed. Here it is, nice and slow, in its entirety. And up to speed. Hey, thanks so much for watching that lesson. And just another quick shout to let you know the Jazz Accelerator program is open for enrollment right now. If you enjoyed this lesson and you made it to here, you absolutely have to check it out. You have to check it out, okay? The link is in the description below. We open enrollment once a year and now is that time. Hopefully I'll see you on the inside. Now, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.